Today, 12th November 2018, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifayon Kowa, and member representing a South constituency, Delta State House of Assembly, Honorable Festus Chikuyem, with others, visit Agbo to inspect the drainage system in some streets interjoining Queen Street, especially Isede Street. <laughs> During the inspection, the project engineer in charge of Queen Street, engineer Christopher, pointed out some challenges responsible for the delay in the project and possible solutions. He further explained that the drainage interjoining Queen Street is too small to accommodate the volume of water coming from Isede, Baliki and other streets, that there is an urgent need to expand the discharge channel. But the drainage for this expansion is in between two houses at where Isede interjoins Queen Street which will require some part of the building to go down. Hence, the governor came to inspect it. Yeah, the water is discharging. The area is smaller than this place. The solution is to create an expansion. Because you look at that place, it's like an orifice. A landlord, Mr. Raf Obi, and some residents in the area, while speaking with the governor, expressed satisfaction on the good works of the governor, explaining the challenges caused by flood each time it rains. Uh, the landlord, the governor emphasized on the need for drainage expansion to enable adequate flow of water. He also commended the quality of work on the project and the determination of the contractor to beat deadline. Furthermore, the governor therefore requested for a review of the situation report immediately on his table for necessary action for dialogue with the concerned house owners to enable expansion in the drainage system for the volume of discharge. <laughs> After the departure of the governor, the horrible condition of Chasbor Primary School classroom blocks along Balike Street in Agbo drew the attention of the State House of Assembly member, Eka South Constituency, Honorable Festus Chukwim to the premises, where some staff walked him around to see the challenges facing them and the PPs, as he was personally taking some photo shots with his mobile device to enable necessary action. <laughs> The management and staff of Charles Ball Primary School lamented over the broken down walls of the classroom buildings, complaining that there is no toilet in the school premises for use and the bad shape of the roofs and ceiling where pipis lay, adding that no one knows when there will be heavy downpour and wind posing threats to human lives, therefore pleading with Honorable Festus Chikuyim to help facilitate the urgent response of the state government to come to their aid by renovating the school to make it more conducive for learning. In an interview with a PMTV correspondent, Honorable Festus Chukuyim recalled that the bill he passed previously, which attracted the swift intervention of the state government, was used to raise three standard classroom blocks, adding that he will do his best to ensure immediate attention of the state government in meeting their plight by fixing the required structures to meet up the maximum standard of academic environment. He therefore appealed to the staff of the school to be patient with the government, saying that in no distant time, the school would get another facelift. Reporting from Charles Bob Primary School, Agbo East, Chinoinim Kennedy, PMTV News.